let's get ready to literally make a splash here sa YouTube. Josa, ako po si Josa, and I am a self-proclaimed mermaid, wonderluster, solo traveler, lover of life, and pursuer of dreams. Now for today's dose, let's get ready to literally make a splash here to YouTube because I will be creating a wet and dewy mermaid-inspired makeup tutorial. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button like and share my videos and also ring the bell notification button for more doses of Josa in the future. And without further ado, if you guys are interested in how I turn this to this! So just keep on watching or swimming! Now one good tip on how to turn an okay makeup into a great makeup is through skin prep. And since we're doing a wet and dewy mermaid inspired makeup look, we want to make sure that our skin is fully hydrated. Yung sobrang hydrated na para kang isang siren ng kakaawon lang sa dalampasigan. Ganon ka hydrated. And I am using the BLK Cosmetics Wonder Melon Face Mask. Now, this is one of my favorite face masks ever for so many reasons. Number one, it smells like watermelon, which is one of my favorite fruits. It also has a cooling effect on your face and you can definitely feel the glow and your skin is fully lifted after using it. Now this has been soaking on my face for more than 15 minutes already and we are very much ready to peel it off. Here we go, face reveal. Now another thing that I like about the BLK Cosmetics Wonder Melon Face Mask is that there's so much product in just one sheet. It doesn't dry up after 15 to 30 minutes on your face. And not only that, but you can also use some of the excess serum and spread it down to your neck area and also your hands. Hydrate, hydrate. Feels so hydrated. Now we're just getting ready to wait for this to dry up and we'll proceed with our next step in our skin prep. Now up next in our skin prep, we are going to use the Jeju Aloe Eyes Aloe Vera Soothing Gel with Cooling Effect. And I highly recommend this for everyone with oily skin like me. Because you know, most of the time, people with oily skin, whenever we use moisturizers, it tends to be greasy and sticky. And this one, it just glides on your skin, it's non-greasy, and it also has a cooling effect. As you can see, the consistency is very watery and gel-like. And not only can you use this on your face, but you can also use it all over your body. feels hydrated and prepped. Up next, we are going to prime our skin for makeup and I will be using the Revlon Photo Ready Brightening Primer. Sabi nga ng one of my favorite beauty gurus in YouTube, Nikki Tutorials, not to prime is a crime. So if you want your makeup to last, you better make sure that you use a primer. And one good tip about primers is that you do not put it all over your face. Otherwise, it will just make your makeup crack and it will not make your makeup look good. You only put the primer on your problem areas. In my case, it's my T-zone area and I just gently tap it on my pores using my fingers. We are finally prepped and ready for foundation and for today, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear and I'm in the shade Sand. I will also be using a damp beauty blender and girls, one good tip about these beauty blenders if ever you buy them and they come in these plastic containers, do not immediately throw these containers away because you can definitely use it to hold your beauty blender so this way it will not make saya to the surface of your table. We want to make sure that we blend our foundation evenly on our face and also make sure you put some on your neck area para pantay ang inyong color. Also, when it comes to foundation, I'm not usually the full coverage type of girl. I prefer my foundation to be light to medium coverage. So that way, you can just show a little bit of your skin and it doesn't feel too heavy when you wear it throughout the day. 
We are all set for our foundation. Up next, I will be using one of my most favorite concealers in the world and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer and I am in the shade Light. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eye, this little area here on my forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and my upper lip area. And ganto na to. Charing. Up next, we are going to use our damp beauty blender once again to blend our concealer. Now, I have used so many concealers in the past, and one thing that I don't really like about other concealers is whenever they crease under the eye. But with Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, it's perfect for long wearing, it doesn't crease at all, and you can also do spot correct on top of powder, and it will just blend right in. So I highly recommend this. This is definitely a must-have in every person's makeup kit. Up next is my favorite step in my makeup routine. We are finally going to bake, and I will be using the Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder. We're just going to set the cream products and concealer under the eye. The upper lip area, the forehead, and then the jawline. I also like to use the Cody Airspun Powder Puff. And then I just make sure that I also set the other areas of the face. Now, I only started using the Cody Airspun just recently. I have heard about it from drag queens and also beauty gurus using this setting powder before so I was very intrigued and I have to say so far so good it you know it blends right into your skin it feels so light and on top of that it's also long wearing so yep so far so good now I know it looks crazy right now but later on I promise that everything will make sense up next, we are finally going to do our eyebrows, and this is usually the step that will require the most concentration out of me. First, I'm going to grab a spoolie and then groom my eyebrows, brush it up. Then I'm going to fill them right in. For filling in my eyebrows, I will be using the BLK Universal Brow Stick. And I will just carefully outline the shape of my eyebrows. Starting from the bottom and then extending it outward. So I'm fortunate enough to have hairs on my brows. I'm just making sure that I'm enhancing the shape of it for a more beautiful look. And when outlining your eyebrows, you just want to make sure that you follow the natural shape of your brows. And it doesn't really matter if it's perfect at first because later on we are going to clean it up with concealer. And once you have the outline of your eyebrows complete, you just have to use the same BLK Cosmetics Universal Brow Stick to fill in the sparse areas. Now the great thing about this BLK Universal Brow Stick is that it also comes with an eyebrow mascara on the other side of the tip and we are just going to use this to set the eyebrow hairs. Once the eyebrow hairs are set with the mascara, I will be using an angle brush and a concealer to clean up the edges of my eyebrows. Now this is one of the best techniques that I've learned throughout the years of me doing makeup. Now, I really love using this makeup technique because not only does it clean up the edges of your brows, but if you notice, it also highlights the brow bone. And then you just blend the concealer in place and set it with your setting powder to avoid creasing. Yay! Eyebrows are looking good! After eyebrows, we are ready to prime our eyelids and since we will be using a lot of highly pigmented eyeshadows for a wet and dewy mermaid makeup look, I will be using the MAC Paint Pot to help prime my lids. Our eyebrows are all set and ready and let me bring you guys closer so we can apply our eyeshadows. 
And I'm very excited to finally play with the BYS Barbie Rainbow Face Palette. We will be mostly using the blue eyeshadows in this palette to create that wet and dewy, mermaid-inspired makeup look. And then using a tapered blending brush, I will first dip into this powder blue shade and I will be using this as my transition. Make sure you coat the brush and then tap the excess. So for this shade, I will be placing it right above the crease as I kind of want to outline the shape of my eyeshadow that way. And then using windshield wiper motions, you just have to blend your eyeshadow right above the crease. Now if you notice, I'm also extending it outwards because I want the shape of my eyeshadow to be fully snatched for this mermaid-inspired makeup look. Now the key to having beautiful eyeshadow is to blend, blend, blend. And also make sure that whenever you're holding your makeup brush, you hold it near the tip so you have more control over the application. And we are done with the transition shade and up next we are going to use a smaller blending brush and then we are going to dip into this beautiful blue shade right here and put it on our outer V of the eyes. Now if you notice, I'm just putting most of the eyeshadow on the outer V of my eye and then I'm just dragging it through the crease. And blending it with our transition shade and I really like this eyeshadow palette because even though it has a lot of pigmented eyeshadows you can see and you can tell that there was hardly any fallout and the eyeshadows blend beautifully now you're probably wondering why you name your channel Dose of Jossa. Well, for several months I have thought about a good catchy name to call my YouTube channel and I went around ideas such as, you know, Jossa Day in the Life or Jossa Dailies and then it just evolved into different forms of titles. I thought of Daily Dose of Jossa and then I felt like, hmm, might as well remove the word daily because I'm not going to put out content on a daily basis. And what I had left was Dose of Jossa, which is really perfect for me because it has a nice ring to it and it perfectly fits the description of my YouTube channel, which is me sharing my life in doses. And when you say doses in pharmaceutical terms, it's about an amount of a drug that is being consumed by one person. And you know, I really feel like it's very appropriate with the content I want to put out. I also want to make sure that my videos will become addicting and something that people will re-watch over and over again. And in case hindi nyo natatanong, Dose of Josa is also very perfect for me because I am a graduate of BS Pharmacy from University of Santo Tomas, so it's just perfect. And up next, we are going to further intensify our eyeshadow and I'm going to use a smaller crease brush and I'm going to dip into this very beautiful ocean blue color and I will be putting it right on my outer V and my crease. Our wet and dewy mermaid inspired makeup look is slowly coming together. Up next, I'm going to use a shader brush and I'm going to dip in to this shimmery satin blue shade in this BYS Barbie face palette and I'm going to put this all over my eyelids. Now this blue satin shade is applying really well. It's intense as you can tell. And if you feel like you need more intensity, you can always use a makeup setting spray and wet your brush and apply it on top of your lid. I have always wanted to start a YouTube channel and most of my friends, coworkers, they really wanted me to do it. I think more people wanted me to start YouTube than me actually wanting to start YouTube back then. Just because, you know, I feel like I wasn't ready and life before the pandemic was so hectic. I travel a lot for work, I travel a lot for vacation, and I don't really have the proper equipment to start a YouTube channel. And I'm such a perfectionist that I told myself, if ever I'm gonna start YouTube, I wanna do it right the first time. Obviously, I feel like with a pandemic 
and things slowing down and travels still restricted, I feel like it's really the right time for me to finally start my YouTube channel and also put that passion and creativity into something else. I'd like to go back with a smaller crease brush and dip into that dark blue shade once again just so we can further intensify the outer V and clean up the edges of the blue shimmer that we just applied. And since we're going for a mermaid inspired makeup look, I am going to wet my makeup brush with a BLK setting spray and dip right into this beautiful aqua blue color from the BYS Barbie face palette. And then put it on top of the lid. Now I feel like the makeup brush is not getting enough product, so this time I'm going to use my ring finger and use it to apply that glitter shade on top of my eyelids. There you go. Our eyeshadow is almost done. Next step is we have to wipe off that excess baking powder underneath the eye and on our face. Up next, we are going to add more drama into this wet and dewy mermaid eye makeup look. And I will be using the BLK Cosmetics Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Now, I know a lot of people like to start their eyeliners by drawing a wing on their outer corner. But for me personally, I find it easier to start from my inner corner. Now after eyeliner, I'm going to use the Nichido Curl Mascara and I'm going to coat my natural eyelashes. Now using a smudger brush, I'm going to go back to our BYS Barbie Rainbow Face Palette and dip into this blue shade right here so I can start working on my lower lash line. Now to add more definition, I'm also going to use this dark blue shade and put it on my lower lash line. And for more drama in our wet and dewy mermaid inspired makeup look, we are going to go back to that aqua blue glitter shade and then put it on my lower lash line as well. Using a highlighter, I'm going to highlight the brow bone and also the inner corner of my eyes. And we are done with our eyeshadow look. And as you can see, I put on some false eyelashes to complete the look and we are ready to finish the rest of this face. Up next, we are going to use the Features and Shades Contour and Highlight Palette and using our contour brush, we are going to contour the entire face. I'm going to mix these two shades together and also put your contour on your forehead and then on your jawline just so we can bring everything together. And as I'm filming this video, you're probably hearing the sound of heavy downpour. Talaga namang very appropriate because we're doing a wet and dewy mermaid makeup look. So talagang nakisama ang weather. But seriously, I do hope everyone's staying safe and dry. It's been raining for several days now, non-stop. Using the same shade, I'm also going to contour my nose. Starting from my eyebrows and then down to the bridge of the nose. Just so we can have that definition. We are done with our face contour and up next is also one of my favorite steps to acting makeup routine which is the highlighting. I'm going to use my highlighter brush and dip into the highlight in this Features in Shades face palette. And since we're going for a wet and dewy mermaid makeup look, hindi ako mahihiya mag-highlighter today. Woo! And sobrang excited ako mag-highlighter. Nakalimutan ko mag-blush on. So I'm going to use the Barbie BYS palette. And this pink shade right here will be my blush. Medyo nakukulangan ako sa aking highlight kanina. So I'm going to use again the Barbie BYS Face Palette. And meron siyang highlighter dito that I really like because it's so intense and it's so bright. So I'm going to use this one. Using the same highlighter, I'm going to put some highlight on the tip of my nose. We are almost done with our wet and dewy mermaid makeup look today. Up next, we are going to do our lips. And first, I will be using the Nichido 
lip liner in rosette. Now this is a very important step for me because as you can see my cupid's bow is not really as defined so I want to make sure that I put some definition on my lips before I apply my lipstick or my lip gloss. And after lining my lips, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite everyday lipsticks which is the BLK Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade Sophisticated. One good tip with makeup is if you already have a bold and bright eyeshadow look, you might as well go for a neutral or natural colored lip and vice versa. If you're going for a very bold and strong lip, you go for a neutral and natural look for your eyeshadow. That way, hindi masyadong overwhelming and overpowering yung makeup niyo. I'm just gonna add more highlight on my shoulder blades and all over my body para kompleto ang ating wet and dewy mermaid makeup look for later. Put some highlight on your shoulders. So on the, the left shoulder. We are looking all wet, dewy, and hydrated and ready for our mermaid look. But before that, we will be setting our makeup with a BLK Cosmetics Wonder Melon Setting Spray to add more hydration and more moisture in our finished look. We are just mere moments away from unveiling our finished wet and dewy mermaid makeup look. I'm just gonna put on my seashell bra, my pearl necklace, and also my seashell crown, and I'll be right back. And there we have it. This is our completed wet and dewy mermaid inspired makeup look. And yes, tuluyan na nga natin ginamit ang kapangyarihan ng mahiwagang kabibi to fully transform myself into this beautiful mermaid fantasy. Hopefully, marami kayong natutunan by watching this makeup tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my Dose of Jossa YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button, like and share my videos, and don't forget to ring the notification bell button for more doses of Jossa in the future. And once again, ako po si Jossa na nagsasabing we are all mermaids in this ocean called life. See you later and keep on swimming!